What's going on, everybody? Uh, it is happy Thursday. It's rainy out, but it is shining bright in here. We met, we have Miss Jamie Mazurk. It's how bright. Are, how it's are bright. you today? I'm good. I've already got my cry out this morning. And, yeah, uh, you and me both. Yep. yep yeah, that, that was, was great. A, that was a tearjerker. That was great. Um, yeah. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about let's it. Let's talk about it. Let's so, Jamie, it. man, mm. th- these are just special moments, and. Uh, I'm just so grateful to be a part of them. Uh, So Jamie uh, called me the other night and we just hired a director of agent care, uh, agent and client care, Mary. And she's been really hustling and you're, you're, you're tough. You know, we know you're, you're tough and you have wicked, wicked high expectations. And Mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're drilling her pretty good. And she just was hanging in there, taking punches, kind of like Rocky Balboa, you know, just hanging in there. (laughs) And then she started to really, I, I think the last week, get it. Like, I think she really started. It was a little, um, yeah, it was a little bit more than a week. Yeah, maybe two weeks. Yeah. She started to really get it and yeah. started to find her groove. And uh, she posted. I, she I always got it. Yeah. I think it just the way she wanted to please me so much. Exactly. You know what I mean? And Instead of just like, hey, this is what we got to do. We're here yeah. for a purpose. It, let me, you know, communicating a little bit better. And I think she's doing that now. Yep. But So she posted just randomly on Facebook you know, and like, I happen to see, cause I don't do my, yeah. like, I don't even, I didn't even see it. I don't really love to go yeah. down the rabbit hole and I don't, not that it just sucks not, you in. It's not, like yeah, an endless, I just don't have time. Yeah. And I, some days when I do have time, it's really fun. But this time I, I think I was just like sharing a post or seeing a post or like maybe seeing, just you know, and it just popped up, up. which is kind of weird. Like out of thousands of things that could have popped up this one post at the precise time did, but it was a post of her sharing like something along the lines of like, if, if I had money or if I had money, I wouldn't want anything, but, but, but these, these shoes. shoes and they were Christian Louis Vuitton shoes, which are not cheap shoes. I don't even know how to say it. Yeah. I don't yeah even they're, they're, you know, I know what they are and they're, they're very expensive. And uh, so you, you called me and mm-hmm. you were like, I think I'm going to buy these shoes for Mary. And I was like, what shoes? And you told me the story and I'm like, Oh my God, like what a special moment. And, and you're like, I'm going to do it. Find out her size. We found out her size. You did it. They came today or came yesterday. Uh-huh. So you came in the office today and we had, had this whole thing planned and we, we basically brought her in the back room and, and I, I kind of fucked with her. You know, I was like, I was like, we've got to talk about your performance. And, and I just walked away and everybody, and was she was like room. now. And I'm like, yeah, in the back room. And I, I, I tried to keep it together and I walked in back and she's probably like very scared at this point in time. Cause it's, like 30 day review and she's like, Oh my God, I'm getting fired. Like, and I brought her in the back room with everybody. And like, I was like, sit down. And we totally interrupted like, yeah, goal, like a, like goal a training. setting, like a really yeah. good thing that it was worth it. There. It was worth it. So we sat her down and I was like, Hey, like we got to talk. I was like, Jamie's got something to say to you. I was trying to keep, keep a straight face. And it was really difficult. And then you, so bad. you just dropped it. And, 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 uh, she just like broke down and started crying. Mm. And you know, it, it was just, I heard, I heard the other day, that happiness not only elevates the the two people that it, you're interacting with, like when you do something like really nice for someone, obviously it changes your brain chemistry and it changes the other person. But you know what's crazy is it changes actually everyone else's brain chemistry that witnessed it too. Yeah. And I, I can, I got to tell you, like I feel like I, I had a week of literally getting my face kicked in. Um, from every angle, from the team to outside the team to just like challenges that are completely outside of my control. So I had a really, I'd say the last three days were as challenging of a three days as I've had in a really long time. And then just to come into this this morning, what an amazing way to start my day. Yeah. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Thank you. Seriously. I, sometimes I feel like I don't want anyone to know because it seems like you're oh, like doing what, it what for I that. Did. Yeah. Um, that wasn't you, what happened today. I understand, yeah. but sometimes that it's perceived that way. Sure. And, you know, perception is pretty much everything. Nine tenths <laughs> of the law, right? Yeah. Um, so it was really important that we captured it and it was because of her performance and I just yeah. happened to see it and, you know, it was really genuine and from a really good place, not from a place like, oh, look at me. Yeah. Like I'm, you know, I can do this. Now I, I got a question. <clears throat> so why is it Jamie? in your opinion, cause I see you do stuff like, I mean, you've done a couple of things like this and you've only been with us, you know, two months now. So, you know, I, I know this is just who you are. Why is it important to you to, when you're building a team 
and your, you know, you have an assistant or people under your tutelage, why, why is it important to take care of them? Why is it important to include them and, and create moments like this? For me, it's because I know they have dreams and goals like so far down deep. And then if someone doesn't help them expose those, I just feel like, I don't know, I just feel like I can help do that. I don't know if I'll be the one or like the caveat or like the one that broke the camel's back, as they say, to to go and be like, I can do this now. But I feel that people along my life did that to me. Yeah. More, more so, I only had like one or two of those people. More of the people put me down and told me I couldn't do it. Yeah. Like I couldn't play Division One tennis. I couldn't be in a home that I built or I couldn't have money or I, I was st- like, why are like someone said to me, like, aren't you like, haven't you done enough? Like, aren't you about done? And it's just like, Oh, I was like, Oh my God. Like what? I'm just getting started. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> like, no, I'm like nowhere near done. Yeah. Like in my mind. So I don't know what other people have told the people that, I am surrounding myself with, but I want them to know that I believe in them. And if it's the only positive reinforcement they get all day yeah, or their whole life, God forbid, that is why. Why do you think people, because I've had it a lot and I, I get it a lot now. Why do you think people do that? Not, not what you're doing. Why did they, why, why does the majority of, of people do the opposite? Why do they put, someone down why do they like it might even be your parents it might be your you know people close to you your friends like people i'm not talking about people that are haters right that are outside your sphere i'm talking about people that are inside your Mm. sphere that are like hate you know kind of shitting on you in your opinion why why do those people do that number one reason is fear 100 percent fear fear of anything like doing it not doing it failing oh what if i get there and then i can't make it or I just think, but, it's but this is the person fear. This is the person telling you, though, right? Is it so? Is it fear that, like, maybe? Oh, it's fear for them because they didn't accomplish it. Ah, it's 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 rooted in them. Yeah, and they're just fear. projecting. Yeah, exactly. And they're saying, "Well, you can't do it. Like, why do you think you can do it? Yeah, like, and there's almost a sense of if you do it, you'll remind them of the dreams and goals that they have that they gave up on. Yeah. And I think that that's a scary thing. And I just scary thing. innately think, like, people are mean. Like, the first reaction to something isn't always the best. Like, I don't know if, like, we were, we're sinners. <laughs> like, we're not always, it's not like we get up and we're like, we can't wait to, like, encourage every single person to, like. Speak for someone, yourself, that's exactly what I, I feel like. Okay, well, day. if someone <laughs> comes in front of you and, like, gets in front of you in your car and like you have to slam on your brakes and your coffee goes everywhere. I'm pretty sure you're not going to be like, thanks pal. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I'm trying to get to that level. Right. But I'm sa- I'm saying the, fir- the first yeah. reaction is always sure. negative. Sure. And so I am trying very, very hard to not do those things yeah. like to marry, like encourage her and say that she can do it. And because I don't know what she's heard. Yeah. Like all day or what sure. she has, what been she's experiencing to or and like who's what in her she's ear. Going yeah, of course, what you happened know? with her kids. And, you know, my mentor, um, I had a brilliant mentor growing up in, uh, in Cutco and he, I, I, I know he was the vice president of Vitamix, which is a really great under company. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure what he's doing now. One of the most successful people I've ever been around, John Berghoff, uh, shout out to John. And he was my coach for a long time. And he, and he once said to me, the quality of your life, Brandon, is how quickly can you get from reacting to something to making an intentional response to something? Mm. And I think it's a lot, I think it's in alignment with what you're saying. We all based on our, our past, based on our parenting, based on our conditioning, based on, you know, all of that stuff, based in genetics, whatever you want to call it, we have an initial reaction to something. Mm. Right. And he, he said that, Hey, you know, the best people in the world that I work with, the best business owners, their reaction from the the reaction time from from reaction to response is like seconds or minutes, like it, it's never days. Mm. And oftentimes you'll see someone they'll get in an argument and they'll react to something and then they won't respond to it for days. 
they'll literally sit in that reaction of emotion for days. And then they'll sometimes intentionally, sometimes they'll just pretend it never happened and just go on with their life yeah. and not even respond at all. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, I'm not like that. I, I try to, I try to tackle everything. I try to, if I, if I do, you know, that guy cuts me off. I'm like, Fuck. okay, you know what? I don't, and here's what I start to do. I start to tell myself a different story. Mm. I say, you know what? You need maybe, to get maybe that guy's again. cut me off because his daughter has a broken leg and he's rushing her to the hospital. Or maybe his wife is uh, about to give labor like, and he's rushing to the hospital yeah. because he only has seconds before his first child is born, right? So I start to try to, I don't know what's going in, in that person. Maybe they're an asshole, and but that's it. I don't we like don't to, know. It, we don't know. And we so have to stop pretending judging? so much. Yeah. Right. Like right away, you yeah. know? And I, I mean, I, in I'm your judgment, human, whether, whether regardless of what it is, likely in most like circumstances isn't true. Right. It's just your judgment. But guess what? It becomes true for you. And when it becomes, for, and that's the story, you, you react and respond based on that story. Mm -hmm. So I think we've got to get aware of it. You know, how do, how do you, how do you, like you said, you're working on this now. I'd love to hear, like, how do you, what are you doing to get aware of your initial reaction to something? And then what are you doing next to get to intelligently responding like with intentionality, like what, what are you doing in those yeah, two areas? I'm like really bad personally. I'm really good. Like with people that I don't have, like that I'm helping like yeah. my clients. Like I yep. am so good. But like, like in your own sphere. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I, I think I, a lot of I people get would, really would. quiet. I like, I just internalize it. I stuff it. And so then, something happens, right? Yeah. Something, something yeah. happens. Like let's say you and your husband, right? He's uh, hey, you're that, you know, whatever it happens, right? We don't, that's the problem. We just, we're silent. Okay. We like argue in silence. It's it's terrible. That's sometimes almost worse than it's, actually arguing. It's worse. Because then totally you don't really, worse. I'd rather have someone like call me an asshole than yeah. like them think I'm an asshole and not say anything because yeah. then, then I don't really know what's going on. Yeah. I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to like, yeah. you know, you would well, think that I'm a big feeling. How do you do it in work? Let's, let's, let's go to where you said you're strong. So oh. a client says, fuck you, Jamie, like this or that. Like they're all hot about whatever they're hot about. I'm sure you have an initial reaction, like this guy's an asshole. I'm gonna fire this client, right? How do you get from that to okay? I, I still have to rep represent them. You know, this is my responsibility. This is my duty. This is my job. Yeah. Some sometimes it's not gonna work out, right? I mean, I'm not gonna. Let <laughs> sometimes you're like, you're like out of here. Like, I'm not gonna let anyone talk to me like that. Let's no, just, of course. You know, I'm, but, I'm not saying maybe it's not so extreme. Right. Like someone just triggers yes, something. Right. Like I, I have an initial reaction. I am. Probably need some counseling from that guy. <laughs> yeah. I am an initial reactor. I am like a knee-jerk reactor. I react, and then like I'm like, oh, mm. shit, I shouldn't have done that. And so trying, obviously, to be more mature and like having all these people watch me and how I do things. Yeah. Even when Chip just came and asked me a question, I looked at it. I was like, I already know that house. Like three other agents have already listed it. Like you got to do something different. Those times are so easy for me. Like, I know exactly what to say, and mm -hmm. it's a knee-jerk reaction. It's mostly the, t the right one when it comes to business. Yeah. I'm talking about when you're, when you're zing, though, oh. right? Like, yeah. I'm talking about, like, not when it's easy, right? Because I think everyone, when it's sunny out and life is easy, like, everyone can show up, you know, at their best, right? <sighs> I, I'm talking about when, when, like, there's a zinger. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you're going, da 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 and then all of a sudden, boom, like, someone just drops a bomb on you or, or a tough conversation happens like in that moment, right? Where you, you initially want to be emotional. You want to have an emotional response to that moment and it might not be good and you know, it might not be good. What do you do to stop it? What do you tell yourself? Like, do you, do you just like get aware? Do you, do you think about, okay, what's the outcome? Like, is there questions that, like, what, what do you do? Yeah. I'm, Cause I, I know what I do. Like, I'd love to hear about what you do. Again, I react right away. Like I, I match their frustration and anger sometimes. And it's, it's terrible. Okay. Um, I did have a situation where someone was very upset with me. Um, I did not tell them that I changed brokerages and they were like super pissed. And, um, that was really, really hard because I had to like be like, oh yeah, like I, I probably should have gotten in front of that. Um, but we had talked the day before and I was I was really like hemming and hawing about the decision. Obviously we had tons of talks about this. Yeah. But 
I didn't follow up with that person and they were like really mad. They were like very, very upset with me. So in that instance, I did think about my reaction um, because he also was a client. Mm -hmm. And I just said, "I'm, I'm really sorry I didn't follow up with you. I... I felt like it was my decision to make, and I, I honestly didn't think I had to tell you what decision I made. I wanted your opinion on it, but at the end of the day, maybe I, I should have told you, and I'm sorry that I didn't, but mm-hmm. I, I was asking for your, your heart, and you gave me your heart, and you told me what you thought I should do, and then I made my decision. So I think I reacted okay to that because I know he was very, very upset with me. Yeah. And so... And what were what were they so upset at? Like what, par- because what I part a- of it? Probably what- because I asked them for their advice. They gave it to me and then I made a decision without telling them what decision so I maybe, made. So maybe they feel like you didn't value their advice? Yes, yes. And value, and ultimately or, or, yeah, not or, value or them. Just, or yeah, or yeah, yeah, not value them, not tell them what I ultimately decided. Yeah. And I think... I, I, now I understand his point of view at the time I didn't, I was really reactive. I sure. want to be like, who, like, who, like, I don't need to like, yeah, you're not my, I don't need to ask parents. Yeah. yeah. But I don't have parents anymore. Yeah. So I was reaching out to him Correct. as a father figure. So I think that probably hurt him yeah. and I didn't, I guess I didn't even think it would, Yeah. you know, because of who he is. Um, but that made me go like what I do and what I say is really important. And sometimes I don't think it is. Yeah. Like sometimes I just say stuff and it can hurt. It can. So I think for, for, bring you, expectations. for you, yeah. it's so, what it sounds like is that, you know, you're not really trying to change the initial reaction, but what you're trying to do is you're trying change to mine. change your response to it. Yes. My response L- later, sure. later on, you're going to react how you're going to react. And, and that's really, really difficult in, in many, many years probably of, yeah. of train. I mean, I'd spend years and I'm still not, you know, a master at it. So it takes a long my time. My mom used to do it to me and I see myself doing it to my kids and it's yeah. just like, it's heart wrenching. Yeah. And I'm like sitting at the end of my kid's bed going, yeah. I'm so sorry. Mama doesn't want to talk to you like that. That's how mom sure. was talked to. And I'm, like, I'm so sorry. Like, and nothing against my mom. She's doing it out of love. She was, of course, trying to, you know, get through my thick head. Like, you shouldn't do this. But, yeah. and I'm doing that to my kids. And it's well, just because like, that's what you learned. I know. You know, and, and it's it, really hard yeah. to break that like deep pattern that you, you know, I've been working in therapy through, you know, my mom. One of the worst things that I learned from my mom, um, I learned, by the way, <laughs> this is not a bashing my mom session. My mom is the most wonderful angel She's of so a human. Sweet. You talked to her on the phone yeah, that one I day. Think. She's so brilliant at almost everything. And the one thing that she is not brilliant at is creating boundaries. And I watched it my entire life of her inability to create boundaries. And guess what I learned mm-hmm. to not create boundaries. My mom was it, huge with that. It no was boundaries. Yeah. All. Like it, she none, would say yes to everything. None. Yes to everything. Yes to everything. And, yes to everything. and, 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 yeah. and that's what I did. And when you start to, and I just felt like shit because I was saying yes to stuff that I didn't want to say yes to. She's a people pleaser. Yes. Me too. And that that's was so the most I. difficult <laughs> thing to learn from my mom. And I, I didn't learn because my mom wasn't like, Hey, always please people. Like she never articulated that to me. You I just do watched what you it. Saw. Yeah. I just you watched do what it. You saw. So I think that that's what, that's why we do it. Um, but, but I learned that that's not what I want. And the unique thing about boundaries, and we've talked about this many times on our, on our podcast, Sean and I, and it's, it, they're, they're invisible. Like they only are real when you say something that other human doesn't know if your boundaries here, if it's here, if it's here, you have none, right? Until you communicate, Hey, you said that to me, or you showed up in this way. And I didn't like that. I like you, but I didn't like how that made me feel. Yeah. Could you not do that again? And then that person, boom, you've, you've drawn a line, you've established a boundary. And now that person, if they respect you, they don't go over that line. Maybe it takes a couple of times to really establish that line or you, you maybe move on from that relationship mm-hmm. because you don't want to be around people that make you feel like that. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, and, and that's, that's kind of what I learned from my mom. But as far as the, the, I just want to, this is going to be a short podcast, but as far as like when, when I, 
am trying to like get from a reaction quickly to a response to something because I hate feeling, I hate staying in reaction. Mm. Like it just fucks your day up. You know, you waste time. You can't get to the outcome that you're really looking for. So that's exactly what I do. Like you first have to become aware of it. If you're not aware of it, you can't change shit. Yep. So like I've tried it throughout the day. I'm like, kind of just checking up from the neck up, like kind of checking in of where, I, where I'm at. And certainly like if something, you know, extravagant happens, like I'm really aware in those moments of like, oh shit, I just reacted. I just reacted. And uh, I just asked myself one question. What, it's a kind of like a pattern breaker. Tony Robbins talks about it. Like interrupt the pattern of emotion with a question. And the question that I asked myself is what is the result that I would like to see come from this? And that usually gets me from this emotional, like, damn, you know, like, oh, this emotional trying to be right or whatever, you know, emote anger, or, you know, whatever surging through my body to, okay, now it gets me more to the logical part of my brain of where do I want to go yeah. here what, with this person? What type of, maybe it's what type of relationship do I want to have with this person? If it's a client, what, what's the result that I want to see happen, you know, with, with this person, if, if it's, if it's a buyer or a seller. And then when you ask those questions, I think it's easier to align your behavior with what you're trying to accomplish versus just being reactive emotionally. Yeah, absolutely. I'm excited. We've had a, we've had an exciting week. I think next week we'll come on and uh, talk about the week. I, I hope it finishes up like, like we all expect it to. I know yes. you have a record breaking week in the making as we speak, yes. I don't knock on wood. I don't want to jinx it and I don't want to talk about it now, but hopefully our next podcast we're going on and we're talking about how you just pended more than most people penned in a year in a week. And that would be a really cool podcast I to jump on. Wait. I am hope like, that you guys are all tuning into this. Cause I'm not kidding. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you what the number is. Um, I'm going to let Jamie kind of, you know, use the next three or four days to bring it home. And I got to tell you, it's exciting. It's, it's something that like, I got to tell you, as a broker, I didn't think I, I would see an individual agent put something like this together. Your body of work the last month has been freaking incredible. Um, and I think I think we're just like scratching the surface. Yeah, that's too. that's the scary part. And I'm like investing in so many other people around here. And that's yeah. like so crazy, crazy exciting. And they're so freaking excited to, to have you to, you know, chip and everybody that's oh, reaching like out to you. Up, like when people yeah. come up, like I just I love oh. it so much. So I, yeah. I well, we really appreciate yeah. you, and, and I'm uh, I'm looking forward to next week to Me see kind of where we finish stay up. Tuned. So stay <laughs> tuned, guys. We got a good one coming next week. All right? Happy Bye. Thursday. Have a great rest of your day. Let's go. Bye.